What's up, people? My name's Jack. We're breaking down AI video editing tools that are going to change the game. Some of these things will literally blow your mind. We're talking about scanning any object in your home, turning it into a real 3D object that you can put into a 3D software like Cinema 4D, Blender, text a video, type out a video, upload a blog, upload your, your YouTube script, let it auto-generate the video, auto-generate the voice. This stuff's crazy for cash cow content, crazy for anybody wanting to start an influencer brand or, or a personal brand, but don't necessarily want to put their voice or their face behind it and we'll also break down a piece of software that's revolutionizing how people are going to edit youtube videos maybe you want to use it for your clients maybe you want to use it to save you literally hundreds of hours over the long run editing youtube content mind-blowing stuff let's get into these ai video editing tools that i believe are going to change the game but real quick before we break down these three ai video editing tools let me talk to you guys about vp plus video production plus my private members community on discord that we just launched on sunday Ah, hey, didn't see you there. My name's Jack, the founder of Video Production Plus, the newest up and coming private members community for video creators. You must be inside, right? Uh, hold on, wait, you're not? Well, I'm gonna give you a chance that you didn't know you were gonna get. The first 100 members of Video Production Plus get 50% off their lifetime membership. So if you're not in, take advantage of that opportunity right now while slots still last. Weekly video editing assets and templates, exclusive freelance content teaching you how to make money making videos, eBooks, online courses, this, that. There's a lot of content there and it's only available to Video Production Plus members. I wanna see you guys inside. 23 is gonna be a good year. See you in there. So number one, we're talking about Metascan. Metascan lets you scan any object, any room, pretty much anything and turn it into a real high quality 3D model. So let's load this up. It's actually an app. There's a few different things I've scanned, but let me show you the two different modes. There is LiDAR mode, which essentially just scans whatever's in front of you. It's good for rooms and big objects. And there's photo mode, which is pretty self-explanatory. You take a bunch of photos or something and it turns it into a 3D model. On screen right now is an example of LiDAR. So I just scanned my brother in, in my kitchen over there and uh, it, it did an interesting job. But the real power of this thing is the photo mode. As you can see, this thing's a bit comical. His He was turning his face, so we didn't really get a, a very good example. But let's have a look at picture mode. To test out picture mode, I took about 20-30 pictures from different angles of this breakfast shake. And this is how it came out. Honestly, unbelievably lifelike. It has all of the details, 22 Gs of protein, oats, low in fat. This thing is, is a game changer for anybody that likes 3D animation, for anybody that also is into game design. I've worked on projects that are revolving around game design before. I've been part of those teams and I see the money that is spent on 3D models. Say I was building a video game about drinking protein shakes or even I was hired by a company to make a, a video about a protein shake. If I wanted to add an element of 3D into that video, I would have to either go find an exact replica of this product on the internet that was already turned into 3D, which for a niche product, product like this would be very tough. We'd have to bank on someone already modeling this, probably pretty rare. But now with Metascan, I simply just scanned it and then you can actually go over here and simply share the thing and export it as an OBJ or an FBX file, which is a 3D file to put in Cinema 4D, to put in Blender. Things crazy. It's really changing the game. So this tool scans an object, turns it into a 3D model and lets you export it live to any program to animate it or to include it in a video game. Whatever the case may be, the thing's absolutely nuts. Metascan is freemium. You can do all this free, but the most high quality model exports are paid. It's like six bucks a month. Tool number two we're talking about Flicky. Flicky lets you turn text into videos with AI voices. This is nuts. They've got 50 different AI voices, so there's loads of variety, and they auto-generate the video. So we'll showcase this in a second. But Flicky, which is our second tool, allows you to just upload a script, upload a blog, upload any piece of written text, or manually input the sentences yourself, and auto-generate the video that corresponds to the words in your script, and auto-generate the voice to read that script. This thing changes the game for a lot of people that want to make content but don't want to put their voice behind it or their face behind it. So to test this out, I writ a basic script. Hey guys, this is an AI generated video. The main goal of this video is to test the capabilities of Flicky. I myself am skeptical, of course, blah, 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 blah. We picked a voice actor from the 50 different voices. I've chosen Stefan. We wrote out our script line by line and we went down here and clicked auto pick video and it auto-generated video and auto-generated the voiceover to correspond to our script. Let's play it and see how it turned out. Hey guys, this is an AI-generated video. The main goal of this video is to test the capabilities of Fleeky. I myself am skeptical, of course. Can an AI video editor actually create something of genuine quality? 
By simply auto-generating the presenter and corresponding visuals, this is our first test. And although I'm skeptical, I'm open to be proven wrong. Hope you enjoyed this AI-generated video. It might not seem like the most advanced thing in the entire world. The voice is a little bit slow. The the, the visuals can't really, you know, uh, compete with a real editor. So if I hired someone to make this video, they'd probably find more uh, engaging videos to put over it. But for auto-generated content, you can't diss this at all, right? Those are kind of like my perfectionist views on this. But overall, it's done an incredible job. And I think this changes the game for modern day content creation. The reason I think a tool like this is so incredible, right? Flicky is because there's so many people who have a wealth of information or want to create content, but perhaps they are afraid to put their voice on it. Perhaps they don't want to put their face on it, or they just might have a million ideas and be the most strategic, great person at planning content out. But again, they don't have that charisma or, or that presenter side to them. There are countless different scenarios of individuals who would love to get into the content game and might have a bunch of ideas to create content about, but that barrier of entry of needing to actually kind of put yourself out there in terms of your voice on it or your face on it, that aspect alone is a deterrent for a lot of people. So I think tools like this are going to revolutionize the game for those individuals. And the barrier of entry to get into the content game has now lowered a lot. I can see people pumping out cash cow content. You can use AI to create content for YouTube and potentially build a huge channel off the back of completely AI generated content. You would use chat GPT to write scripts on topics. You would then take that script and upload it to Flicky and auto generate the voiceover and the visuals corresponding to the script that chat GPT just generated for you. Then you'd find another AI software to generate a thumbnail and then you'd upload that content to YouTube. This is getting out of hand. But anyways, tool number three, we're talking about Gling. This is nuts. Any YouTubers need to pay attention right now. What Gling does is it auto cuts out your mistakes and the dead air in your video. You upload your video, right? We'll showcase a funny little tester that I did in a second. And it is perfect for YouTube and talking head content because oftentimes we don't always get our video perfect, right? We don't always get it in one take. There's jump cuts or there's a bit of dead space while we're thinking about our next point. It's very rare that someone puts together just a one take banger of a video. So this program right here, Gling, takes your video and cuts out all the dead space and the dead air. And also it transcribes it. So essentially you get your video in written form and to delete parts of that video, you simply would, you know, highlight the part of the script that you don't like, the transcription, and just press the backspace, just delete it from the script, and it will automatically cut that bit out of the video. Also, this, this is where things just get super streamlined and super easy. Not only does it let you really easily edit out any mistakes or dead space in your video, it also allows you to export that directly to Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro. It, it's absolutely next level. So you'd upload your video, it would transcribe it, you'd simply delete the parts of the script that you didn't want or that messed up or that were dead space. It would accurately chop up the video according to your edits. You could then go to the top right, press export and take that directly to your editor of choice. For me, it would be Premiere Pro. And when you load that file up in Premiere Pro, it's automatically chopped up and cut corresponding to the chops and cuts that you did over in Gling. This thing's a game changer for YouTube content. I think that this is something that Save so much time, right? Even just the idea of not swapping back and forth between the right tools to chop that video up in your editor and the fact that you can now just come into this, this transcription version and, and literally just delete parts of the script and it will delete those parts of the video. It's incredible. I absolutely love this tool and I think it's going to be perfect for video creators. I'm putting together a sort of boot camp for Video Production Plus. If you guys have made it to the end of the video and you want a little bit of a gem, I'm gonna drop it on you right now. This right here is Futurepedia. This is a directory of every single AI tool in the entire world. Every AI video editing tool, but also every other AI tool to help you guys. I'm telling you, in 2023, there's gonna be a big divide between the people who are using artificial intelligence, right? This super intelligent personal assistant that's just waiting to help you out. There will be a big divide between those people and the people that just aren't jumping on the train. Futurepedia is a great place to check. I check this thing almost every single day. There are eight new tools added just today. The people who really get tapped into AI are going to excel this year and they're going to have their workload cut in half because of all these super powered 5,000 IQ gigabrain personal assistants helping us out with every little task that we need. That's the video guys. AI video editing tools to look out for this year. We're talking about Metascan, incredible tool for scanning any object into the metaverse, into the 3D world. Also, we're talking about Flicky, 
That's going to be a farm for content for anybody who wasn't already feeling comfortable to make content themselves. You can now harness the power of artificial intelligence, of different voices, of different videos, all this kind of stuff, and, you know, produce content at scale like you were never able to do before. Also, Gling, the final on the list. Three video editing tools all powered by artificial intelligence. If you guys want more AI videos, me breaking down specific AI video editing tools, let me know down below, comment more AI, and we'll definitely be making content like that. I've been loving breaking down these tools. So many cool things dropping every single day on Futurepedia. I will not link Futurepedia in the description. Only the people that watch to the end of the video get the alpha. Check it out. Some awesome tools that will definitely help you guys out. And you can even print a bunch of money from these tools. They're great for freelancing. Peace, guys.